it's perfect. We can learn more by simply doing more examples on cross method. And we can see that there are quite a number of factors in the number 24. We can have 1, 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. And note that the last term is a negative number, minus 24. Therefore, either one number will be a negative and the other will be a positive number. And therefore, we finally come up with 8 pairs of factors. We have a total of 8 pairs of factors. And only one pair of factors can make up the middle term plus 5x. And so, we can inspect the factors one by one. And remember, we have to make up the middle term plus 5x. And as you can see, minus 1, 24, this this has no hope to make up a 5x term here. And so did minus 2 times 12, we can cross out those unlikely factors. And uh, minus 4 times 6, this is again a pair of no hope factor. This is no hope, no hope, no hope. And so the most likely factors will be minus 3 times 6 or 3 times minus 8. And you can, we can write the factors in a vertical format. Plus 3, x minus 8. And we have to always remember that if this is a negative number, this pair of factors should be one positive and the other negative. And now we can do the cross multi multiplication here. And now we have a plus 8x minus 3x, we have plus 5x. And in the second pair, minus 8x plus 3x, we have minus 5x. And so obviously the second pair does not work for us. And therefore we can now write our answer. x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals to x minus 3 x minus 3 times x plus 8 and uh, it is always a good practice to check our answers because uh, we can simply check whether our factorization solution is the correct one we can simply expand or reverse the process minus 3 times 8 we have minus 24 x times x, we have x squared. Minus 3 times x plus x times positive 8, we have plus 5x. And therefore, after checking, we are sure that the answer is correct. And then we have another practice problem here. x squared plus 2x minus 8. We can decompose minus 8 into two factors again. We can have 1 minus 8 minus 1 8 or we can have 2 times minus 4 or minus 2 times 4. Again we have to make up the middle term plus 2x and it is obvious that these two pair of factors 1 and minus x or minus 1 times x has no hope to make up the middle term. And now we have only two pairs of factors left. But uh, since uh, we have the middle term uh, is a uh, plus 2x, we can simply sum up these factors. And the one which come up with plus 2 will be the answer. And obviously, this does not work because 2 plus minus 4, we have minus 2. And therefore, our factor will be x minus 2 times x plus 4. And if we can write the factors in a vertical format and check whether we can come up with the middle term plus 2x. Again, x times plus 4 plus 4x, right, minus 2x, and then we have plus 2x.
Therefore, 2 factors will be x minus 2 times x plus 4.